Ones, it's Bernadette King, and I am here with your Pick a Card Daily Tarot Reading for Thursday, September 24th, 2020. Y'all, there's a lot to unpack, so we are just going to go, 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 go. So, Thursday's Ruling Chakra, it's the heart. It's all about the red. It's why you probably can't see it, but this, there is my heart. I had to wear it. I had to do today justice. The ruling planet, or the ruling planet, or Lord, the ruling planet is Jupiter, and that is the optimism and expansion. Oh, that planet just, ah, oh, who doesn't love the planet Jupiter? But Thursdays are the, oh crap, I gotta get my nose to the grindstone. I gotta get things done. I gotta move, gotta move. Only got one more day till the weekend. So interestingly enough, Cougar shows up today. You know, it never ceases to amaze me. The, uh, the most perfect animal will show up on the most perfect day. So why is cougar so perfect for an, oh, crap, i got to get things done? Well, the cougar is in the um, mystery expansion deck of my award-winning Arc Animal Tarot and Oracle deck. It's the deck that I use for reading for y'all. And um, it is based on the Rider weight Tarot, but then it's got all the amazing mystical and magical energies and medicine of the animal allies uh, infused with it creates miracles every day. It's amazing. And the cougar card, you know, listen, everybody knows the jokes, you know, the joke all these last years about, you know, cougar moms and cougars, you know, and older women and younger men and that kind of thing, you know, okay, I get it. It's fun. It's funny. You know, I'm an older woman. I get it. But when you really, really take a look at the power of a cougar, which is also a mountain lion, which is also a puma, it's got a very feminine energy to it. And one of those uh, bits of symbolism that are a big part of it is, as women, we're always wearing so many hats, so many masks, that sometimes we can lose ourselves. We kind of forget who we might really be, and we definitely can not know what we really want. So when we're rushing around on a Thursday, go and go and go and get her done, get her done, get her done, it's really important that you just kind of like, uh, you know, I understand you want to be the nurturer and I understand you want to be the protector and the transportation chief and the cook, you know, head cook and bottle washer and the educator and the la la la, but are you overtaxed? Are you about at your wit's end? Please recognize that because the other symbolism of a cougar mountain lion puma Again, I grew up in the woods of North Florida. If you've never heard a cougar, mountain lion, Florida panther, any if you've never heard them scream, they sound like women who are being who have lost their minds and are now being murdered. When I was a kid and we first moved to the woods, it was just my mom and my sister and I, three girls in the woods, right? And it wasn't a little house on the prairie all. It was scary. And we <laughs> one night my mom used to make us little bonfires and little marshmallows, you know. Um, and one night, we all came up out of our chairs, turned white as ghosts, because there were, it sounded like a woman was being murdered. Well, we lived in the country. My mom had a gun, right? She knew how to shoot. She was nobody's dummy. She was like Ma Kettle. So she grabs the gun, and we go off naively looking for this lady, because we're going to save this woman's life. We couldn't find her, and so my mom called a couple of the old neighbor boys, and they laughed and laughed and laughed and laughed and laughed at us, and they said, hey, ain't y'all never heard of Florida Panther before? And my mom was like, no. And when we found out it screams like a woman, we, you know, that taught us a lot about living in the woods. But what this has to do for you on a Thursday is, because it's got just so many, uh, you know, it's all, cougars are about motherhood and and all the masks that we wear and the hats that we wear, please take a good look and, and be sure that on this Thursday, you're not ready to combust and start screaming like one of those cats. <laughs> you're going to scare the Puwalik and Jazzies out of all the people around you. So when you, um, you know, I know everybody makes jokes about how easy women are to, you know, tip off and that we scream and we get crazy and, and that kind of thing. And, and that's true sometimes. It is. I mean, I, I know it's true for myself. But mostly, we are not going to lose our poo unless there's something to lose our poo about. So just know that sometimes you, you, you might be being called to stand up to something that you don't want to face, 
to take a look in the darkness. You know, all big cats are night hunters. They are much more comfortable nocturnally than they are out in the broad daylight because they're smart and they know that moving in the shadows is a much safer thing to do. And, you know, just take a look at, have you been holding something in for too long? Um, you know, maybe you do need to let out something that's like a scream, but maybe is more like a kind of thing and let you let somebody else know or let people around you know just because you've always got a smile on your face and you're the brownie lady and you do this and you do that and that and this and this and that that doesn't mean that you're not a powerful being that doesn't mean that with one swipe of your big old murder bit that you can't take them out I don't mean literally I mean this metaphorically but you they just might have to get a good load of who they are you know kinda of backing into a corner so just consider that as you go through your day don't allow yourself to push yourself so far you know where you back yourself into a corner and don't allow anybody else to do that either you know there's a lot of, of power in feminine energy and there's a lot of power in the feminine divine and that you know that's even if you're a fella you know we all have the mix the yin and the yang the light and the dark the feminine and the masculine that's why there's father sky and there's mother earth and yes the boundaries between that are you know becoming less binary and less binary but there will always be a balance of some kind in everything natural um, at least for I don't even know how many more foreseeable lifetimes so when when you know when the daily readings come or any reading comes let's say you're reading for yourself or you're reading for other people and you you know you have one of the animals show up it's super important to remember that in in the system that the animal allies downloaded into me is that there's a, a different way of working with animal energy as a spirit totem or power animal and you'll have to decide uh, you know if today's reading do you need the cougar as your spirit animal is it just a reminder of who you are you know to be your totem animal or is cougar energy something you've really got to invoke uh, today as your power animal now again the cougar card is in the mystery pack of the expansion deck of the arc tarot and in the main deck there are a hundred cards and then there's an additional 49 animals that you can get from the expansion pack so when you see a card come in and it's from the mystery deck a lot of times when you're working with the with the animals in a spirit totem and power animal capacity uh, a more shamanic capacity it's it is just really really important that you open yourself up to the great mystery to any messages that might be coming to you from whatever you call it God source spirit the great spirit the all that is the great divine the universe because you know cats in particular they are absolutely some of the most psychic animals on this earth their intuition is unbelievable but remember all cats carry a very feminine energy about them and you've heard of women's intuition that's not an old wives tale that is something that people have noticed over time why because women are receivers we receive men the male energy is more aggressive it goes out it gets it gathers it hunts women receive that's not to say we're weak and that's not to say that we won't out hunt a man it, it, it's not about that it's just about that's the energy that comes around it and so that's what makes women far more intuitive as a general rule um, than men can be but that's also changing for men a great deal I used to almost never get male clients and oh my gosh half my roster is made of males now that want readings and want to take classes it, it is the coolest thing in the world so cool so if cougar today has shown up as your spirit animal <clears throat> really what that means is that you have been you, you've just been doing too much it is time to take a deep breath and to pause to be patient and to wait there's something coming down the pike for you um, coming down the mountain for you that is really a call for you to sit back and just sit still and observe there is a if y'all have ever been amongst talkers or people that are fighting 
the, the, the most powerful thing you can do is sit in absolute silence. It unnerves people. <laughs> they go crazy when they're like, ah, 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 and they're just like, see how uncomfortable just that little bit of silence got? Kind of made you wiggy, didn't it? Power. So use your power. Use the mountain lion, puma, Florida panther, cougar power and sit in silence and wait to see what's being shown to you. Because again, it's a mystery card. The mystery is going to come to you. You will be able to solve the mystery. Okay. If you are, uh, if you've adopted cougar as your power, or excuse me, as your totem animal, girl, you all that. You are. You, there's just everything feminine about you. But the, like Whitney Houston's, I'm every woman power, I'm every woman totem, you can be like a, like a fierce corporate executive, and then you can be like a Viking warrior queen, and then you can be like so sweet in your little pink and your little cotton candy and your little curls, and you know, like girly girly, getting your petty mani, and then you can be, you know, farm girl, and you can be just as comfortable on the red carpet, and you can be... You just, you really embody every bit of the feminine divine. I am a little jelly. Can't lie, I'm a little jelly. Yeah, not really, but I just, I love you kind of, I love you kind of people out there. You just are something, 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 something. And you are such a great teacher to all of us that you show us that any gender can be any version of whatever they want to be and be just as accepted and just as happy and embrace all parts of themselves. You don't have to be just one type of woman or man or anything. You can be this way one day and this way the next day. You want to be a mermaid today? Be a mermaid today. You want to be an astronaut tomorrow? Be an astronaut tomorrow. The point is to just be. And for those of you for whom cougar is a totem animal, you got that going on. Good for you. Okay, now listen. If you are um, really feeling like you need to invoke cougar as your power animal, you know, there's a lot. Listen, I'm a straight shooter, you guys. For those of you who don't know me, I'm just straight up. I don't, I don't pussyfoot around. Ha <laughs> ha, cougar pussyfoot. I am, I'm funny. Not really. Okay, so, but I, I really don't. I don't pussyfoot around. And when it comes to, like, big cats and snakes, and there are a couple of other animals that, um, they really do represent symbolically, they represent sexuality, passion, um, fertility, that kind of thing. And when you think about the movement of big cats, when you think about that slinky kind of thing, you know, um, it always reminds me of that song, Shall Only Come Out at Night, The Lean and Hungry Tide, you know, The Man Eater. Um, I love that song. And I, I love it a lot more when I'm having a beer, but I do love it. So, Maybe you are uncomfortable with your sensuality. Maybe you are uncomfortable with your feminine qualities. Maybe you are uh, dying a slow death in that area. You're just not interested anymore, but you want to revive yourself. Maybe you're over, you're over interested in that area and you're like, whoa, I need to, you know, I need to slow my roll. But there's something going on in the root chakra area that has to do with the subject of sensuality that if, if you're needing attention, cougar, puma, mountain lion, Florida panther, it's all the, um, all, all the same kind of energy that could be very helpful for you to bring in. Now, be super careful because I've got a, a video, we'll, uh, we'll put the link in the notes down below, about how to invoke your power animal, but be careful. And, and when we, you know, listen, yesterday it was quail, right? You invoke a quail. Yes, they're very powerful beings in their own way. But in your, in your setting your intention, admittedly, as I've watched students over the years, I, I've just watched them. There's a different amount of strength and power that they ascribe to setting the in, intention of invoking a cougar than, oh, say, a quail or a little yellow duck, or even a, you know, a bumblebee, or a, 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 a ladybug. Really, at the root of it all, the truth of it is, there is no difference in the power, 
each animal is as powerful as the next from ladybug to whale to great ape to big cats, elephants, the, the tiniest little, you know, spore thingy ma bobber jiggy at the bottom of the ocean. They all have great power. But in our minds, we don't think that. And so when we start to invoke big power like a big cat, oh, y'all, be careful. Just make sure you're in control. Make sure you're hearing everything wisely. And I don't say this to scare you. What I say this for is I've had too many stories over the years of people calling me and go, oh my gosh, I had to make a pitch at my company. I invoked XYZ and everybody it blew their hair back, sometimes really amazingly. And sometimes they were like, I think they're going to send <laughs> I think they're going to send me to see the company's therapist. So <clears throat> again, it's not a negative caution. It's just be very aware of how you feel about the intention that you set and be very clear when you set that intention, what you truly want the outcome to be. So this Thursday, the go get them day, it is pa -ha 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 powerful. I don't know if you could feel it, but I sure could. I hope it was helpful. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you get all of the daily readings right there in your playlist every morning. You don't even have to work for it. It's just that we're there for you, books. And if you haven't gotten it yet, get your Arc Animal Tarot and Oracle deck because if you love animals the way the rest of us love animals, you will find that being able to connect to your spirit totem and power animal guides is, uh, man, it is something with this deck. So, but all that said, what's the most important thing? To stay wild.